So we're here at the ARM Embed. Hello. This, welcome to the Embed Zone at the ARM TechCon, uh, which is this year as part of a smart city installation. We're showing lots of different um, applications using ARM Embed in IoT. We have some shipping products that are looking after food safety and compliance um, out in the market. We have the microbit that has been uh, shipped in over a million devices. And we have the Embed Cloud. So I'll give you a tour of the Embed Cloud. So Embed Cloud is a new announcement? Indeed. So Embed Cloud is a device cloud. It's a device management cloud that allows you to securely um, update, provision, and connect devices. Update, provision, and connect. What is a what is a, a provision? So um, within provisioning, we have um, a factory line tools which we're uh, demoing here. And what this means is essentially being able to insert keys into and trusted assets into devices so that um, they can be shipped out uh, and configured by the end user for a particular market. Um, it's also possible to actually attach uh, a particular um, inventory list to it so that um, you don't have any spare inventory. And this is really quite important to have security end-to-end -end right from the silicon, especially at the time where the manufacture's taken place so that security can be built in right from the start for IoT. Does it have to do with uh, giving IDs to every chip? Um, every not? device. So this is where um, you can actually protect certain assets within a device so that you can identify the device, you can make sure that it is um, functioning and, and the main thing that we're bringing in Embed Cloud is the ability for any device to connect securely to any cloud. So multiple clouds can be uh, accessing the data and services within these devices. So uh, device connector and cloud, what's the difference? So device connector uh, is our um, free developer service. Um, what it does is the same thing as Embed Cloud Connect. However, it allows you to get started with 100 devices. It uses a standard-based model so that you can connect to any different connectivity. Did they all have this? Um, so this is running Embed OS with seven different types of connectivity and running that in Embed Device Connector. So you can get started at by having any of your devices based on multiple different silicon. There is about 400 different components that are supported in Embed OS. And you can take those, um, go into any sort of deployment so that you can take care of anything that needs LoRa connectivity or thread or cellular, for example, and be able to connect all of these very different types of connectivity in one very simple interface through Embed Device Connector. So uh, Embed is... Um is to tie everything together in the, in the IoT, in the embedded market, right? And so what's the status? What's been happening? Uh, in terms of? Uh, so it started uh, how long time ago? And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so um, about two years ago um, at, embed, uh, at uh, Arm TechCon, the Embed team announced its vision to actually have a platform OS because um, connectivity in embedded intelligence changes design a lot in, in many non-trivial ways. And last year we had Embed OS as our technical preview. Um, it has been going into uh, production devices so far and we've seen some really good traction within those. Um, this year we've actually extended that platform by bringing Embed Cloud that allows you to really do any device, any cloud, securely managed. And that's really, really what we see will get OEMs some uh, speed in terms of how IoT is being deployed. And all this is uh, free. So um, Embed Cloud is a is a SaaS service. It's the first um, software as a service product from R. And um, interested parties can actually look at uh, our site and request a demo. All right, and uh, but MSOS is a free and open source. So Embed OS is our device side software, which is free and open source. Um, we also have Embed Device Connector, which anyone can start using uh, for their designs in, uh, and looking at for their deployments to connect it. And so you you talking about security and updates is a very important uh, way to prevent issues with IoT, right? It's a big challenge, and Embed is uh, at the center of making this. 
future possible? Absolutely. So um, what Embed OS brings particularly is isolation technology so that within uh, all of the things within software can be protected so that you don't have you can protect memory regions within the hardware and that's really important in IOT because of the, the kind of recent uh, events uh, if you consider the Mirai botnet there's a a lot of devices that were essentially able to function um, but use their spare cycles to really exploit them. And this is something where uh, MCU products in IoT would be better uh, suited to some applications. Of course, it depends on the use case. Um, but all in all, what we're trying to do is offer the architecture of security that goes from the very silicon to all the way have you deploy services through the lifetime of the product. So these products are going into field for about 20 years at a time and we need to be able to ensure that they have all the implementations in the right way in software and hardware for security. How can you update a trillion devices uh, forever? Is that what you do? No, or not? <laughs> It's not going to be a trillion yet, but uh, we're talking about <laughs> millions, hundreds of millions, or right. So, um, Embed Cloud is um, available to only launch partners at the moment, but three partners are using it to scale their deployments in different verticals. Um, what we have here is the ability to actually do a firmware updates across their deployments, um, but of course, these are not at, at billions of devices yet. Um, there are some real real um, challenges in, in how OEMs have a very heterogeneous um, landscape to deploy these in. There could be you know, old devices, there can be very new devices that they're deploying and designing now. So there's ability to actually connect across all of these different varieties of, of technologies and, and connectivity that's constantly evolving. So if we look around here, uh, you have a whole uh, street, and uh, all these partners there, does it mean, uh, is your vision that all this, all the IoT is going to somehow be in a platform that gets updated by who? Who's, who's taking care of updating all these devices? So Embed Cloud is designed for OEMs to really uh, use with their IT cloud. So generally, um, you know, right now, um, if you consider the mobile world, firmware update actually takes place through the, the enterprise IT uh, department or, or something like that. We think that there will be a um, capability within OEMs that will be doing developer operations and, and that's the type of uh, folks we're trying to enable to use their uh, application cloud and bring security to their device cloud. So when a vulnerability is de detected by some, anybody, it's open? All the partners using Embed have to stay open also? Or uh, they can do whatever they want? Uh, no, it's... Uh, well, sorry. Like, uh, if you use Embed OS, right. you have to submit back all the changes you do, or you don't have to? Uh, no, so so we have an active partnership that contributes back to the code of Embed OS. Um, what's really interesting in, in IoT applications is if you have a vulnerability that you find in the uh, in any software that's been designed, the ability to update these devices allows you to actually, you know, uh, send through bug fixes, for example, be able to actually also send through improvements in algorithms that might be doing some processing for example so all of that actually goes hand in hand and and we offer the choice essentially to partners and there's a system for updating so it doesn't use too much bandwidth some of the devices very very low bandwidth right yes and low storage and low everything and what we so with embed cloud it's been designed to um, to essentially be optimized for networks that are running really small constrained devices and particularly ones that are you know cortex m based uh, these mcu type devices um, need a very efficient uh, network to function in and so it's standard based but we've added further implementations so that your device is not being pinged constantly by the, the network. So there are some very really interesting implementations of open standards that we collaborate with all of our partners. How do you coordinate all this? How does it work? Um, so we have an embed partnership where about 65 different uh, partners across the, the industry work. 
And yeah, some of these are the partnership products. Uh, so we offer a, uh, a certification type um, uh, program that's called Embedded in Vault. And essentially, any developer can choose any of the products that are listed on our website as Embed Enables and our partners work with us to make sure that they're interoperable. All right, we look around here, there's more and more. We have uh, NXP, uh, there's a lot. Yes. And uh, we have, so Red Bear, we also have the BBC Microbit, um, we have Silicon Labs, NXP, um, Embedded Artists. There's also, um, you know, kits like from IBM, for example, um, the Ethernet IoT starter kit. There's also the Hexiware platform, so for anyone who wants to design wearables, it's a very flexible platform. Um, we've also got sort of a, a really small BLEM Zero type uh, module, so really interesting um, that now we're starting to see many integrated SOCs modules really come about through our Embed Enable program, and that helps people get to market much quicker, um, they can get to production devices much quicker, and that's where we see right now the, the change in IoT. It's really moving from being just at the pilot and prototype stage to starting to really scale out, so it's an exciting time. What do all these uh, partners that you have, what do they say about uh, what you're doing? And uh, is there a lot of uh, feature requests, or is everybody working, in the, is everybody super happy? <laughs> Well, I mean, this is this is part of where we, um, you know, part of our collaboration is constantly working with the partnership to understand where we're seeing the market uh, requirements, what needs to be fulfilled. Also, when we have shipping products, allows us to sort of actually um, look at some regulatory challenges, etc., that we need to you know, be aware of and bring into our roadmap to, to support the partnership. So that's an active dialogue. And it's, uh, it's very important. Uh, we, we're talking about a very rapidly growing market mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, different, in the industry, a lot of different platforms for IoT. Mm -hmm. Are they competing or are they getting inspired? Are they using your code and there are other platforms, right? They just take what's good. They, they also use in other places. We are, we are quite happy to have much wide adoption of our technology. So we have seen, uh, for example, we have um, Google Eddystone that uses the um, embed um, technologies and, and parts of the embed stack. Um, you know, we have uh, also a very flexible software client uh, that comes with the embed cloud called the embed cloud client. And what that does is allows you to connect to any type of architecture or any type of other RTOS and OS. So it's important that some of the, the transport layer security, for example, that's found in embed TLS gets much wider adoption. We're very happy to see that get traction across lots of different you know, communities like Lenaro and others. And uh, so, so all these devices uh, get updated, and uh, you, you are talking about a new, the latest update since last year. Uh, you, I guess, optimized embed is faster, smaller, yeah. stronger, everything. So um, we we've been working on a number of different fronts for, on Embed OS, and the latest release that we've announced at Arm Tech on Embed OS. 5.2 um, also brings with it sort of um, much integrated um, connectivity um, and memory profiling, for example. Uh, so you, as a developer, have at your hands tools which allow you to see how you can optimize code and where you're writing, where where you can build sort of efficiencies into it. And, and that's really quite nice because you can actually move between different platforms to understand sort of how best you can get the performance out of a particular particular platform. Because it's very important that you don't build a bloatware platform. It has to be very small, right? Mm -hmm. Very fast. Yeah. Is that e is not so easy, is it? But well, you have I lots mean, of people all, working on it. Um, all in all, we uh, the the design philosophy of Embed is really to bring the security and efficiency advantage of the ARM architecture across the entire network and across that lifespan. So every place where you can make sure that there's a better um, chance for something to stay secure and be secure. Um, and for something to be efficient, you can actually gain a huge multiplier effect in, in IoT, and that's what we set out to do. So um, we, you know, we and our partners um, work actively on them. That's actually a, a real focus of our work. So the embed uh, segment, the group in, in ARM is just growing, right? 
it's growing really fast. We're, you know, our, our team, uh, I've been with the Embed team over a, a year and I've sort of seen it go from uh, a team of 70 people to 250 people, engineers. So that's Whoa. that's fantastic. But Did also, you hire every single one? <laughs> Are you the one in charge? No, we, we actually, um, we've been investing quite a lot in seeing what where can we bring synergies and expertise and we made uh, acquisitions that have been quite um, quite significant expertise of security within our team. So um, we did an arm um, did an acquisition of a company called San, uh, Sansa Security last year, and a large part of our security team is from uh, from brings that expertise from there. Um, we also, uh, of course, are not alone in this because our partnership has been growing and partners have been putting more of their engineering resources into this. So as we see collective success, that that means that we have more support and, and more engagement in that dialogue. And for the development boards when they have competitions or if you see some cool hackers that do something good, I guess maybe you send them an email and say, hey, do you want to work with Arm Embed? Yeah, absolutely. Do, do and stuff like that? We always love to hear from uh, developers who are using Embed for any of their projects. And yeah, they can write into our team. Uh, there's also a forum so that they can actually showcase what they're doing and, you know, Watch out for uh, Embed uh, Embed Connect, which is our developer summit. So, our next summit is going to be in Shenzhen on the fifth of December, and I hope a lot of developers actually join us there. Wow, cool! So uh, Shenzhen is exciting place, right? I mean, it's uh, it's kind of like the real Silicon Valley, no? <laughs> or not really? I mean, there's there's a lot happening in in Shenzhen, and and we see great opportunity in terms of where. Um, there's a lot of very good um, hardware skills and um, people are looking at what they can do in terms of value-added software and that, that's ex exactly the type of place we want to be in. We, there's a lot of potential and, and talent there. Um, we'd love to actually you know, see what they do and how they innovate with our tools. And if you can convince the Shenzhen guys to use Embed, there wouldn't be any DDoS issues anymore, right? <laughs> Security really needs to be implemented correctly, and, and that's what you know a large part of the focus of, of Embed Connect is going to be as well. Um, so we're bringing deep dive tracks uh, that walk people through all of the different types of hardware security, uh, as well as how to implement software security and do lifecycle security through the Embed Cloud.